Dykes on Disc by Jackie Gabrielle. Copyright 2011. Ella, Chapter 10, Route 66. The New Mexico morning beckoned Ella and Gabby with the aroma of cow urine. It smells a lot like fermenting straw with just a hint of pee, commented Gabby. Stinky is how it smells to me, stated Ella. They were getting an early start and were walking up the gravel driveway to use the vaulted toilet. It was the first one Gabby had used, and she was very curious to see exactly what it was. It turns out that the only difference between a vaulted toilet and an outhouse is about a hundred feet. The little caravan was on the road again by 9 a.m., headed west again, west on Highway 60, then northbound on 285, Rancheros to Santa Fe Campground, here we come. They went up hills and down hills at 40 miles an hour. Four hours later, they arrived. That's right, four hours and 161 miles. As it would happen, they got to park in space number one, right in front. Okay, honey, I'll get us hooked up and you get on Craigslist, instructed Ella. I'm on it, replied Gabby. Just let me take my medication and warm up some coffee. She was going over it in her head, what the ad would say. She knew she was going to ask for $3,000. She only hoped that someone had that kind of money just laying around. Not ten minutes later, the phone rang. It rang over and over. Apparently, lots of people had that kind of money laying around. There was a couple whose husband was in the military, a retired firefighter from Albuquerque, and a man who was driving all the way from Utah. The couple from Albuquerque were willing to pay their asking price, so Gabby began to let all the interested parties know that the little scamp trailer was spoken for. Unfortunately, the man coming from Utah did not have a cell phone. He was an animated, muscular, five-foot-four image of bipolar man walking and excited about what he believed to be his great buy. Gabby was trying calmly to explain that she couldn't contact him because he didn't have a cell phone, and though she had promised to sell it to him for half her asking price, when the offer for full price presented itself, she accepted. He was having none of it. You can't do that to me, he shouted. I'm sorry, sir. What do you want me to do? My brother is a lawyer. He's an important lawyer, too, he informed them. I should call the police. You broke a contract. We had a, an agreement. You promised it to me. Ella actually was wishing he would call the police. She was getting a bad vibe from his loud and over-the-top behavior. She tried to bring some agreement to the situation. Excuse me, sir, she began. <clears throat> um, Mr. Bill, we'll sell it to you, okay? You're right. You should have the trailer. But Mr. Bill was not having it. He bellowed for all to hear. I don't want that trailer. It's not worth it. It's a piece of junk. Now I have to drive all the way back to Utah with nothing. I spent $75 getting here. All right, relented Gabby. We'll give you $100. Will that help? Gabby was eager to get rid of this guy. She had dealt with his type when she worked for the public defender's office. Emotionally unstable, impulsive, inflated grandiosity. And he was a veteran, so he could probably kill her if he was pushed. So if $100 would make him go away, she was all for it. Sure enough, her offer seemed to calm him a bit. Seeing the change, Ella jumped in. Yes, Mr. Bill, please take it. It will give you some extra money to put in your truck. Well, okay, I still think this is wrong. I'm going to talk to my brother-in-law, and I'm still going to sue you. Yeah, thought Gabby. Take the money and get out of here. They breathed a collective sigh of relief as he drove off down Route 66 back towards Utah. Now the work began, moving everything possible out of the trailer and into the RAV4 for the transfer of ownership to the couple from Albuquerque in the morning. How do you put the insides of a 16-foot trailer into a 13-foot car? You just do it. Yes, they were packed in like sardines and couldn't see out of the rear window, 
but now they would have money and be 1,700 pounds lighter. All the places they could go. As the sun went down and the day came to an end, Ella and Gabby were exhausted. Gabby needed a little extra medication, and Ella had her 12-pack. Still, they didn't fall asleep easily. After all, that crazy Mr. Bill might still be hanging around. To be continued. Thanks for reading aloud.